Hi, I'm Joe Walensky, and I'm the program manager for the UX Writer Conference. That's coming up October 6th and 7th. It's online, so you can get to it from anywhere, from the comfort of your own home office, wherever you might be, wherever you are in the world. And so we look forward to having you with us. We have a whole bunch of great speakers involved, and I get to talk with them ahead of time. And that's what we're doing right now. And so right now I am visiting with Patricia gomez Yorado. Hello, Patricia. How are you today? Hello, Joe. I'm, I'm good. Hello from sunny Barcelona. Well, it, it is good to have you uh, visiting with me now from Barcelona. And uh, I've been there, enjoyed it a lot. I'm, I'm in, the, in my usual uh, home area of Vashon Island near Seattle. Cool. I hope you can come back soon. Yeah, I, 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 uh, United States is going to be a bit limited on uh, being able to go places, but <laughs> hopefully, because I like to travel as well. Uh, but thanks for uh, offering to be part of uh, our event, and uh, we'll uh, we'll talk about your session in a little bit. But a, a good place to start would be if you could talk to us about. Uh, your background and the type of work that you do. Cool. So um, I started my career as a translator from English into Spanish and also as a product manager. Um, I was working in a, in a localization uh, company. And after that, I moved to Madrid and I worked for Google for six years um, as a Spanish language manager. And I was managing the language quality for Spain and, and Portugal, including the coefficient languages in Spain, like Catalan, Basque, and, and Galician. Um, so yeah, during my, my, my time at, uh, at Google, um, I was, um, yeah, as I said, like managing quality uh, of the localization of the, of the content for all Google products. And I'm super um, proud to have participated in launches like Chrome and Android, which are like, super popular products. Also, I was working in, um, in a project with um, the YouTube UX research team, um, defining the perception or understanding the player, the user perception um, of the YouTube interface in the different uh, languages. Uh, and then I moved to, to Barcelona six years ago um, and I started working in a in Edwin's, which is an online travel agency, as uh, the head of content and, and localization. Um, I was part of the product organization and when I started, I started, I uh, created the, the team from scratch at a time when the company was migrating all the websites to a new technology platform. So imagine that, building everything from scratch while all the websites were in a migration uh, stage. Um, so yeah, during my time at Ibrims, I was managing a team of UX writers and localization uh, specialists. So, so the UX writers were working with the product teams, product designers, uh, developers, uh, product managers, uh, etc. And localization specialists were covering the core markets for the company, Spain, Italy, Germany, and uh, France. Um, and also a localization project manager was managing translations for the uh, smaller or long tail uh, languages. So at that time uh, is when I learned and realized um, about how, about the synergies um, between UX writers working with uh, localization more, more closely uh, because uh, they were benefiting uh, each other, and in the end, they had the same mission, which, which was uh, like a global content. And also, they were collaborating a lot on um, working with the development teams for um, launching the new content management system for the company. And also, they were engaging with the UX research team on user testing uh, activities as well. And as an interesting fact, um, some of the or most of the uh, UX research was done in Spanish. So it was the, the Spanish localization specialist engaging uh, in, user, in user activities um, with the UX uh, research team. So yeah. And two years ago, I joined King, uh, the video games company uh, creator who created uh, Candy Crush. And I joined as uh, the head of our content in the player support uh, department. And my team uh, was managing the support content uh, in, 20, in 20, no, 19 languages. Uh, across all the support channels. And pretty recently, I transitioned into a new role, and I am now the um, head of content design, um, and I lead a team of UX writers uh, working with uh, game teams 
uh, designing the the copy of um, of our games. Well, uh, yeah, thanks for that. You've uh, had a uh, you've, you've done quite a lot of work, and you mentioned your uh, your deep involvement in localization. And I know what a challenge uh, that can be to do well. Uh, and it's also the subject of the session that you're going to talk about at the conference, which is entitled Localization and UX Writing Work Together to Design Truly Global Experiences. Uh, and you already talked a little bit about uh, your interest in that area and, and uh, why it's important to you. Um, are there any other things that you'd want to add about what we can expect to learn from your presentation? Yeah, sure. Um, well, as you may know or not, um, most of the non-English uh, user um, UI or um, digital uh, experiences are created by localization teams, um, either internal teams or external providers or freelancers, because normally UX writers design the copy in English and then the localization team adapts this copy into the other, into the other languages. So um, that, this is why I started asking myself, like, why aren't these two crafts uh, working more closely together? Because in the end, both uh, teams are managed content and work with uh, content, but in different uh, languages. Uh, so in the end, they can, if they join forces, they will be, um, they will have like a greater impact, especially for international international users. So in my talk, um, I'll be I'll be talking about what localization and internationalization is, how UX writers can benefit from working with the localization uh, colleagues. So this is like a call for UX writers to look for the colleagues in their, in their companies. Um, and also how these two teams can work together uh, to drive and own content delivery end to end. Well, I think that's going to be a great presentation, and we'll uh, look forward to having that at the conference. Uh, you also mentioned uh, uh, when we were talking earlier that you have a lot of interest in, in travel, and, and, and that's uh, unfortunately something that's limited for most of the world right now due to the pandemic. But uh, can you tell us uh, maybe uh, one or two of the top places on your list to visit when things are available again? Oh, mm, the last like trip I took like long distance was to, was to Thailand. I wouldn't mind going back again to, to Thailand. It was like a very, it, it was a, like, an amazing place. And maybe, you know, now with the global pandemic and with the working from home situation, maybe it would be a good idea to work from Thailand for a while. Well, I, I haven't been there, but I, I would like to visit there as well. So uh, we have that in common. Uh, well, thanks for taking the time to talk with me about your interests and your background and your conference topic. And we will see you online from Barcelona in October for the conference. Thank you so much.